This is a PIR sensor, specifically an Elegoo HC SR501. We can use a PIR sensor in our projects to detect motion. Let's take a look at the PIR sensor itself. If we look at the bottom side, we will see three pin headers here, here, and here. Power, ground, and the middle pin is the output. On my PIR, the labels for the three pins were hidden underneath this little plastic dome. If we take that off, I can see here VCC, ground, and out right here. There are two potentiometers. One will adjust the sensitivity of the PIR. The other pot will change the amount of time the PIR will wait after it has detected motion to begin detecting motion again. Full clockwise on the sensitivity pot is the highest sensitivity. Fully counterclockwise on the timer pot is the lowest amount of time, which I've noticed is approximately 10 seconds. On my PIR, the pots were not labeled in any way, so I had to figure out which was which. I used a marker to color the sensitivity pot, see it right there. So I know this one controls the sensitivity and this one controls the time. There is also a jumper right here, which is labeled H for high or L for low. When the jumper is on H, the PIR will output a logical high or five volts when it detects motion and will continue to output a high until the timer runs out, whether additional motion is detected or not. Once the timer has elapsed, the PIR will go low again unless motion is detected again. When the jumper is on L or low, the PIR will alternate output high or low each time it detects motion. For our purposes today, we will leave it on high. Here we have an LED and a current limiting resistor. As you can see, when I apply five volts to the anode right here, it lights up. So let's set this circuit up so that the LED will light when the PIR detects motion. We are only using the Arduino board for power and ground. So we're gonna connect power and ground of the ground here to the PIR sensor and we have five volts power here. And again, all we're using the Arduino board for is to get the power to it. So the only thing left is this connection right here in the middle, the output. And that output is gonna go from here, the middle pin, back over to the board here. And finally, I'll put the little plastic, I'll put the little plastic cover back on. And you can see our LED has already lit up. Let's get a little distance from it and see how it works. Okay, we got a little distance from it. I am zoomed in a little bit and we're going to approach it. And you can see it already lit up. Now you're gonna have to play around with the sensitivity and timer settings for a while. I'm going to get out of range of it again, and you should see it here in just a moment. It should go out. There, it went out. See, as I approach it, it lights up again. Let's see if we can stay still here and make it go out. It does take the timer just a, a little bit to reset. It should be reset now, and it comes on again. If you are using a microcontroller, you can test the output of the PIR instead of using it to power an LED. We will be doing this in a future video. That was the PIR sensor in just a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this.